Austin here, welcome to your 19th Roblox GUI Lua Lua GUI Gua, yeah, Lua GUI scripting tutorial Lua is not GUI but GUIs are Lua that made sense so today I'm going to show you guys how to create a custom playlist for your game so uh, before I get started I know that I've been kind of dead on the channel lately. I haven't uploaded in a few weeks. Uh, where's that screen? Gooey, there it is. Uh, this past week, I was on spring break. I actually meant to make a lot of videos during this period, but turns out I didn't. Uh, local script. Uh, one reason why. I don't want to make the Raycast video yet. I think I talked about doing that in the last video, but I do not want to do that yet. Uh, I don't. I I was clueless on what to make a tutorial on that, and I've just not been spending a lot of time <clears throat> in development recently. I don't know. I make videos when I can, uh, when I especially feel like it. And I guess right now I feel like it. It's 9.15 a.m. I would be at school right now, but I missed my bus. I was walking out the door as it rode past. Uh, what was I going to say? Was I going to say something else? Okay, I'll say what I was going to say if I remember. But, uh... Okay, let's get started. So, uh, first things first, let's just, let's just design the, blah, 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 the frame that's gonna appear, uh, when, when a player is joining. Mm. Oh, that's way too big. Okay. Uh, let's just let's make it fifty. Thirty. Okay. You know what? I feel like orange today. Let's make it orange. No. You know what? Uh. Yeah, this site flat UI colors. I really like this site. Let's make or a gooey carrot color. Oh wait, does that? Uh, let's not copy in hex format, this RGB format. I don't know if that messed something up just there, but... Wait. 230, Okay, that's actually fine. Mm. You guys can design this however you want, of course. I probably should have made this before I even started on this video to save time because I know my videos always turn out to be pretty long okay that'll do uh, let's position it uh, what's 1 minus point 12 wait no why did I do that okay point 88 uh, so, 1 minus uh, Ugui's scale dot x size is, is going to attach it to the end of the screen on the x-axis. Same thing goes for the y, uh, except since I'm using pixel, I would just do 1, oh wait, 1, negative 30, but we don't want it all the way down there. So... Point zero one point eight seven. Okay. Uh, let's just call this item. Mm. Uh, 
This is going to be the player's name. that in replicated storage I know a lot of people uh, when doing things like this they'll just instantiate I think I pronounced it right their own GUI items <clears throat> but I find that really unnecessary I just like to have them pre-made so I can clone them as needed okay so uh, game dot players dot Player added connect function player uh. okay yeah if script dot parent player dot name wait why did I do that no okay that's gonna be for the player removing function. I just confused myself there. Okay. Create new GUI. We're just gonna define that there. Local new equals item clone uh, new dot name dot text equals player dot name. Uh, do I really want to have it text scaled? Okay. If new dot uh, if not new dot name dot text fits then new dot name dot text scaled equals true so basically if they're I think this is <coughs> how it'll work I've actually never used that property before but if their username's too long and the text label runs off of the uh, the image label or not the image label the text label then text fits will be false so then we're gonna want to set it to true so that uh, we can, you know, make the name fit. Uh, new dot position equals udim two dot new. Uh, wait. One. One. Okay, so we just. We're gonna name this holder. It is a holder frame. Uh, it's, uh, as you can see, it covers the whole screen. Uh, it's invisible. It's just gonna be a holder for our uh, what you call them, our player list. Okay. Uh, new dot parent equals script dot parent dot holder. Let's just. I'm just gonna local holder equals script parent with child holder. I'm just going to define it up there. Uh, X is going to be 0.870x0. Eight, uh, so what are we going to put here in that X? Uh, point zero 0.01 times the length operator holder get children. So what that's uh point one wait is is that right? Yeah. No. Point one plus uh
Let's move this back here for a second. Uh, what do we? We gotta decide how far we want them to be separated. Forty-five. Okay. Plus. Point zero five times. Yeah, I think that's right. Uh, play removing. Uh, if local find equals holder find first child player dot name if find then find destroy. I don't know why it wouldn't be there, but that's just a precaution, I guess, to use find first child. You should never use find first child if you're not, uh, or unless you're not certain something's gonna be where you're looking for it at. Uh, find first child is actually a very inefficient method. I would link you guys to the Roblox dev forum article I found on that a long time ago, but I don't know where it is. Uh, Uh, local new you know, local function add player okay uh, so the reason we're doing this is because when the local script is uh, you know first cloned to the player that player added event is not gonna fire for our local player so we just want to create one for the local player and we, we can just leave it like that really since actually no this will be fine okay uh, let's test this bad boy out Blah, blah, blah. Oh, one more thing. Uh, game, good service, starter, GUI, set core GUI enabled, set core GUI enabled, enum, but core GUI type dot player list, false, okay. Uh, yeah, we're just setting the visibility of the default player list to false. Uh, okay, so it works for one player. Let's try two players. I don't know why I press cancel on that every time. Player two. Okay, so that works all right. Oh, right. New dot name equals player dot name. That's why I didn't remove the. Uh, that's why when I made player two leave, it didn't remove the frame. Uh, what else was I about to do? Oh yeah. So I've I've in pairs game dot players get players do add v. Yeah, so this will include current player too. Okay. I mean the local player. Okay. Sounds good. Looks good right now. All right. Cool. So, I guess that works. Mm. You know, let's tr just try with eight players. Let's completely overload my PC with eight clients on a test server. But it's okay, because this is an empty place anyway. Yep, so the playlist holds up just fine. Wow, look at all those noobs. 
I like how their shadow just forms a straight little jagged line there. Player 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Player 2, 1, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, that's that, folks. Uh, okay. Uh, so, you can add effects like tweening the frames in uh, as a player joins and leaves and whatever. Add click events, make the make the text label a text button, add a click event if you want the player to interact with the player list in some sort of way. I don't know, you guys can customize it how you want. Uh, is there anything I did not explain? Uh, yeah, this line is to set the default player list to false. Uh, this math right here, we're starting at a uh, scale of 0 0.01 and for uh, the reason I was doing the holder is to measure to accurately measure the amount of frames there are uh, so that's gonna be the number of players that are already in the list so we're adding 0 0.05 to scale for each of them effectively just placing them down a list uh, you could probably use a UI constraint uh, UI list layout for that but uh, I didn't want to mess with that. Uh, instead of doing all that math, you could just pair it to the frame if it has that, but I don't know. Uh, that's that. I think next I might do a spectate GUI. I don't know. I will see you guys next time.